Now, Mr. Johnson tried to uh, <clears throat> tried to diffuse the criticisms of what he tried to introduce in the Louisiana legislature by claiming that his bill would also protect people from, quote, <laughs> an overzealous uber conservative governor, end quote, who wanted to punish people for supporting same sex marriage. What? You see what they do? You see what these hypocritical son of a bitches, that's why I have no problem calling these contention fascists Christian fascists. They are not in any manner aligned with the mythology of Jesus of Nazareth, who was supposed to have brought love and peace and forgiveness as long as he, you know, was willing to sacrifice himself uh, to the human species. These contemporary Christians, these Christian fascists, are the antithesis of that whole idea. Um, Baton Rouge Metro Councilman John Delgado called Johnson, quote, a despicable bigot of the highest order, end quote, that's his quote, for pushing the proposal to punish people for supporting same-sex marriage. Johnson replied, quote, I'm not a despicable bigot of the highest order. <laughs> End quote, John. Oh, well, I guess that takes care of that. IBM, you know, IBM company, which was in building a technology service center that was going to employ 800 people. That company wrote a letter opposing what Johnson was trying to get through the Louisiana legislature. And part of the letter from IBM said this, quote, IBM will find it much harder to attract talent to Louisiana if this bill is passed and enacted into law, end quote. Dow Chemical released a similar statement. Other business leaders, this according to Judd Legum, popular information, I started quoting from this yesterday, other business leaders quote, expressed concern that the legislation could tarnish Louisiana's reputation as an acceptable place to visit, end quote. And then Todd Chambers, chairman of the New Orleans Convention Visitors Bureau, you know, the the organization designed to attract companies that will spend money. This guy said the state would not be selected for large-scale events if the bill passed. But you see, to a Christian nut fuck like Mike, Mike Johnson, he doesn't give a shit about any of that. He's doing the Lord's work, brother. He's doing the Lord's work. Amen and hallelujah, right? Got to get rid of them queers. Got to beat them goddamn women back into the position that they belong in. And at the time... This crazy fuck Bobby Jindal was the governor of Louisiana. Do you remember him? And Jindal offered strong backing to this religious horseshit, but the bill died in committee. And it was Johnson's second attempt to turn marriage equality into something bad, punishable, evil, a felony, something that didn't comport with Mike Johnson's fucked up views regarding his crazed religion. Now, there's more. After the failure of of that Louisiana Marriage and Conscience Act, don't you love the way these things are titled? Oh, my God. Then, Mr. Christian Nutfuck introduced a similar bill called the Pastor, Pastor Protection Act. And the Pastor Protection Act, quote, offered legal shelter to clergy who declined to perform marriage ceremonies for gay couples. Legal shelter. Even though, I wonder if Mike Johnson is aware that three or four of the 12 disciples of the rabbi from Nazareth were gay as gay could be. I wonder if he could accept, what do you base that on, Malloy? Oh, come on, folks. Twelve guys wandering around the Middle East in robes and sandals? <laughs> I mean, you know, of course they were. You can tell by looking at them. 
right? Now, of course, if you remember, the Supreme Court legalized marriage equality in all 50 states in June of 2015. And now this crazy son of a bitch, uh, Uncle Clarence Thomas, has suggested that same-sex marriage should be delegalized. The same way these fucks got rid of the right of women to privacy. Judd writes this, it is unclear what problem the bill was solving. You know, this this Pastoral Protection Act. Since Louisiana passed a bill in 2010 with, quote, protections for people who decline to perform certain functions that are against their religious beliefs, end quote. And further, no pastor had been forced to perform a same-sex ceremony against their will in Louisiana ever. But these are facts. This is reality. This is the world as it is, not the way these Christian son of a bitch and crazy people want to pervert it into. The Pastor Protection Act also died in committee. After, uh, according to Judd, two key Democrats on the committee accused Johnson of making changes to the legislation at the last minute that would have allowed clergy to refuse to perform marriages for interracial couples. Yeah, about that. Johnson is a fucking racist. He is a racist to the same degree that uh, most Republicans from the South, if not all Republicans from the South, truly are and embrace racism. Mike Johnson is no different. Now, Mike Johnson acknowledged that he had changed the bill a bit, but he said it was, quote, a red herring because I'm not aware of any religious tradition in this state that's opposed to interracial marriage, end quote. Yeah, um, that's true. You duplicitous, hypocritical prick, but you would have changed that with your bill had it been enacted into law. And you know that, you lying bastard. But that's what you Christian fascists do. You lie, you cheat, you steal, you bear false witness. You are hypocrites. Oh, the, oh my God, this guy. It, it, it just... And, and remember... Above everything else, overarching everything, is this son of a bitch refused to acknowledge the orange bastard's defeat to become president again and refuses to this day, to this fucking moment, refuses to acknowledge that Joe Biden is a legitimate legitimately elected president of the United States. And this son of a bitch is just right behind Kamala Harris in line to be president if something happens. If something happens. I uh, have got to pause for a second here and have a little bit of River Moon coffee. Oh, my God. Sometimes I feel like this shit is so bizarre. It can't be real. It's got to be some kind of a, uh, I don't know, an an absurd play that's that's being presented to the American public, something. And, And I have to laugh. And the laughter is not genuine, oh, I'm so happy I'm going to laugh, laughter. It's that sardonic laughter that isn't really laughter. It's a release of some kind of energy that has been generated because of a gut-level fear and loathing of what these Christian devils are accomplishing in this country. There's only one way left, short of violence, one way left to stop this. And that's to vote. And I hope people who are either registered as an independent or a Democrat or a Republican who considers himself or herself to be moderate, 
I, I, I absolutely beg you to vote these filthy son of a bitches out of office a year and two weeks from now. Please, please. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.